I'll be watching this video on my birthday. Yo, she about you. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dave Tech right here and I am excited that you are here. I'm very happy to have you here. So this video is going to be divided into three parts. The first part is going to be first about this channel in general. The second part is going to be about my series and the third part is going to be about where I did my series and how it went generally. For the first part of this video is introduction to this channel. My channel is going to be focused on design, marketing, and finance, basically. So this channel is going to be focused on design, marketing, finance, and lifestyle. That is why you are seeing this video right now. Whenever I have the opportunity to travel outside the country. <laughs> you think it's a joke? You think it's a joke? Or go for a speaking event or go for tech events. You are going to see videos like this on my channel. Then you are going to see videos on design, like tutorials about how to create certain designs, probably with your phone or your laptop, Photoshop, Corel Draw, Pixel Lab. All of this is going to be on this channel. Then the marketing part, if you are a designer and you've been finding it difficult, or a freelancer in general, and you've been finding it difficult to get clients, that is going to be the marketing part of this channel, focusing on, on being a freelancer and landing clients as a freelancer. Then the finance part, you are going to be getting updates on how to make money online. There are so many ways on how to make money online beyond just being a freelancer. So whenever I get an update, whenever I get access to an opportunity that can make you money, I'm going to share that on this page. I'm going to share that on here. I'm also going to share stuff around tech generally, the Web2 and Web3 space in general. I'm going to be consistently sharing stuff around it generally. So for now, I don't have all the gadgets, I don't have all the materials to create every time. So you are going to be getting one video per week on this channel for now. I'm still going to be focusing on quality over quantity because I want to give you the best value for your time. I'm moving to the second part of the video. I believe at this point you should have subscribed because you are you know you are in for a lot of value on this channel. You see that I'm using a phone right now to record so that I can get the best audio. I have light settings set now so that I can get the best of the best on this channel. So help me now by subscribing and liking this video while I go to the next part of this video. So the second part of this video is about CBS in general pushed me to create a video around this was that I am somebody that before I do something before I purchase something I always want to check who has done it before who has had experience around it and then I ask questions so there was really no one I could ask questions around this I um, checked on YouTube and I did not really see anyone talking about CBS so I know there are certain people that are like me that need videos about how their CBS went and CBS in general that is the reason why I'm making this video concerning CUS. So first things first, what is CUS? What exactly is CUS? Some people call it IT, some people call it CUS. CUS is, the full meaning of CUS is Student Industrial Work Experience Scheme. Now why this scheme was created is to help students. This, you are going to be doing this in between your study time to get to understand how the work experience is basically from the full meaning you are going to get to understand how to work with people in the office how to wake up early and go to office how to have relationship with your um, ceo teamwork um how to understand the office setting basically that is the goal of CWS to make you have work experience before you actually start working so for people that don't have experience around the nine to five jobs this is going to give you a typical experience of how it's going to be so for some people, they get paid during their series, for some they don't get paid, right? So it's more or less called internship, like when you are working, when you are doing your series in an office, you are called an intern. In this office I am right now, as a matter of fact, I'm shooting this video in my office. So um, you are called an intern in that office where you are doing your series, either series or series, whatever it is. You are called an intern there so you either get paid or you don't get paid it depends on where you are working so that is not the most important part the most important part is that you get the work experience now in different universities it has um 
it has different time frame. For example, my school is just six weeks for my CBS. That's three weeks in my 200 level second semester and another three weeks in my second semester 300 level. That is how the CBS goes. But in some other schools, I interacted with a few of my friends and some of them, their CBS run for three months, some their CBS run for six months. Depending on the university you are, the time frame differs, right? And um, this is why you have to relate with a few of your seniors in school so that you get to understand how your own CBS will go. So when you are going for your CBS, it is the tradition to give every CBS student a logbook inside this logbook inside this logbook you are going to write details of how your CBS is going like whatever you do in a day wherever you visit you are going to write it in your logbook you are going to fill that in in your logbook so after you have filled, filled that in you are submitting it at your school i guess when i when i get to school and do all the formalities around that i'm going to create an updated video on how it went right i believe we're still going to do a defense i will probably record the video on the defense part and post it on here right so that is basically how the CS is right you fill the logbook write everything you are doing per day till the three weeks is ex exhausted then your supervisor will sign on each week like at the end of every week your supervisor will get to like sign on it right then there are a few documents that your school will give you to submit to the company to um for formality sake basically like say letter of assumption letter of um one other letter like that and a couple of them so in between someone from your school a staff from your school we come and check up on where you are doing your CBS. They come and check up on you and see whether or not you are doing what you claim you are doing. So, most of the time, it is best that you go to your place of CBS. You do your CBS at the place you said you are doing it and you attend every single day. Because when they come and check on you and you are not there, you know you are in for a lot of trouble right and this was in my school it is six units but in some other schools it might be lesser it might be more but it is a six unit course once you carry this <laughs> once you carry this course over it is over for you because six units is a lot you cannot afford to fail it right so that is all about CS in general let's go to the part where i did my CS. Before I finally settled for this company, I, when I was in school, I was telling my friends and my friends basically that I wanted to do my CIS in Lagos or Abuja, either of these two places, because I felt most tech, um, tech companies majorly are in those um, urban places. I did not make any research, I did not check, I just set my mind on either Lagos or Abuja. Then along the line, a family friend introduced us to Opus. She told me the company is really nice. I did not believe until we actually came to check the place, right? So something really beautiful happened on the day I came here. So I actually came with my mom, mommy's pet, you know. So I, we got into the office and we asked the CEO about Opus, like we have asked the CEO about the CBS process here in Opus and he said they have been accepting interns, people have, I'm not the first person to come and do my CBS here in Opus generally. So he gave us the terms and conditions, he told us everything about the company. Then he, he asked, he asked my name and I told him my name is David. Then he asked that, is it Dave Tech? Like, Dave Tech, right? Meaning he knew me before I came to Opus. That was that was that was a beautiful experience for me because I felt I felt popular. I felt like a celeb for a minute. If I came back to reality, that nobody knows me yet. That is why you should subscribe to this video so that people can get to know me. All right. Away from that, I discovered Opus and I saw that it was a very nice company. The CEO told us we are going to have opportunities to like travel to different places and it has been happening. We went on a few field trips to certain places like Mangal, the new company that um, makes cement here in Kobe State. Another one we went to was um, we went to take a few photos at some schools during their graduation and even at Abuja we were invited over to come and take a few photos for the event. So Opa is a really big company, it's one of its kind in Kogi State. They teach tech comp they teach um, tech courses, they um, 
they have helped a lot of persons like when i got here i was shocked that something like this is happening somewhere in kogi state and i never knew about it right so kogi is an amazing place generally they teach tech courses i i actually selected so when you are an intern here in Opus, like when you are doing your side here in Opus, you have the opportunity to learn a skill during your CS program, even while working for the company. So I'm a graphics designer. I had a graphic design skill before I came to Opus. That is also one thing you should um, put in mind right now. If you are not close to your CIS time, please start learning a skill that can help you while you are doing a CIS. Like it will help you build relationship with the head of that office, right? You need opportunities like this. You need to be able to connect with people, right? You need to have good connections with people. I've been able to connect with amazing people here in Opus, right? So when you have a tech skill, when you have a skill generally, no matter what you are doing, it gives you an advantage, gives you an edge over every single person there right so have a skill have an edge have something that the ceo will be proud to have you in that company just have an edge every time you might not have a skill but your attitude let it stand out don't be that person that is always causing stress to the company you are you are an intern remember and you are disposable right so have a skill that can help the company so i'm a graphics designer and i was using my graphics design skill here in Obot. i also had the opportunity to teach the students clients acquisition during my time here in Opus. i was able to open their eyes to how they can get clients as a freelancer because it is one thing to understand a skill to one thing to have a skill is another thing to know how to monetize it that is also part of the things i'll be sharing in this in this um channel that's part of the things i'll be exploring how to get clients but i'm going to have a serious series on it when i'm ready to upload that i will let you know and i'll drop videos on that consistently so i did my um series here in opus i'm going to post a few clips about opus in this video so that you just see how nice the company is and it has been nothing short of amazing thank you so much for watching this video thank you for staying to this point i believe you gained one or two things i'm happy you are here and please subscribe when you are done subscribing you can leave a happy birthday message for me in the comment section just type happy birthday then any other thing you want to add in the comment section thank you so much i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe bye bye